All right, guys, this is John with another review. Today's going to be a little bit different because this is actually going to be a collab review. Um, I'm collabing with one guy named Poppy Eats is his YouTube channel. I'll be sure to put a link in the description to his uh, page. Um, an interesting thing about him, I had uh, I pretty much sworn off other food to, food reviewers on YouTube. A lot of them got a little too cringy for me. Um, Dame Drops and Ken Domic really got me into it a long time ago, but they kind of like they kind of really pushed me out of the of of, of the interest just because I don't know it just seemed over the top um, but <clears throat> this guy uh, probably like a month ago I started watching his videos and I don't know I don't know what it is about him but uh, he's entertaining and and like he got me interested in in seeing other people review f food again uh, I think he's just kind of he kind of comes off as kind of genuine but uh, Go ahead and look at his reviews um, in the description below. We're both today going to be reviewing the sourdough sandwich from Dunkin' Donuts. And typically what he does is he drives around first. So that's what I'm going to do. I just picked it up, but I'm not in the spot that I'm going to review. So I'm going to talk to you and drive around kind of like he does. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're going to back out of this parking spot. Turn too quick. Right up against the edge on the right side, so kind of turned out too much there. Um, so this Dunkin' Donuts that I went to, there's no drive-through. the The only Dunkin' Donuts with the drive-throughs around me are kind of too far away to make it any convenient. Uh, so I went to this one. It's inside a mobile gas station. Of course, I masked up, and uh, yeah, masked up, went in there, got my sourdough breakfast sandwich and my peppermint mocha latte. Um, the only difference in our reviews is he's going to be doing the gingerbread latte, and he's going to get his iced. I got mine hot. Uh, that's how it's advertised, but when that when I ordered, they asked me if I wanted a whole cold or hot. So I think you can get either one cold or hot if you really, really wanted to. Um, one thing that I I really hate is uh, talking to people through a mask, through a plexiglass wall. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but my voice is already in a pretty low register. So when you cover my voice up. And then I also put another buffer. Like you just have a very low buffery tones and you can't really understand what I'm saying. So every time I have to try to talk to someone with a mask on in a drive through or a walk up situation, it's always a hassle. I always have to end up repeating myself multiple times. And then she even asked me a question when I didn't know what she was saying. It sounded like she was asking if I wanted hot peppers. And I didn't know if she meant hot peppers on the sandwich, and I didn't think Dunkin' Donuts had hot peppers, but I'm pretty sure that's not what she said. It's just what it sounded like she was saying. Um, but I got I got everything I came there for. Plus, since it was in a, a, a mobile gas station, uh, while I was waiting for my food, you know, they have racks of stuff and coolers of other things, snacks and whatnot. This is the first time I saw in a store, mind you, I haven't really been in too many stores lately. Bang Energy. They got Rainbow Unicorn and uh, Sour Head. Of course, they had other flavors too, but <clears throat> I didn't want to get all of them. And, uh, you know, you, you see them advertised on every person's YouTube channel as a sponsor, and Poppy Eats even reviewed it before. I'm not a huge energy drink person, per se, but uh, I 
occasionally I'll try one. Um, especially on long road trips, I like to have one just to stay alert on the road. Um, I don't know when I'll be trying them or if I'll be reviewing them on camera. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, like I said, Poppy Eats reviewed that one. I think he liked it. I think he tried the, the Rainbow Unicorn one. I don't know if he tried the Sour Heads one. The Sour Head one I, I, I wanted to try because I like sour candy. Um, the Rainbow Unicorn one I want to try because I know he tried it and it just sounds like an interesting name. Like what is a Rainbow Unicorn supposed to taste like? One thing I fear about this uh, road vlog thing is like people recognizing buildings and stuff and then being able to determine my whereabouts. I'm not like too worried about it. I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Chicago. It's a big city. You're probably going to recognize something. But uh, I think before I actually get to my final destination, I'm just going to stop talking. So uh, there's a little bit of vaguity into where I'm going. Um, that's actually going to happen right now. So next time I see you guys, it'll be cut to when I'm actually doing the review. See you then. Here I'm back in my final spot that I'm going to sit down and do this review. Again, what I'm reviewing is Dunkin' Donuts, their new sourdough sandwich. It comes with two fried eggs, bacon, and white cheddar. Um, I think they they have some options that you can switch the meat to sausage uh, or or ham, and you can change the cheese to regular American, um, or you can go with the uh, egg whites instead of the fr full fried eggs. But when you just ask for it and you don't give them any instructions, that's what it comes with: uh, two eggs, bacon, and white cheddar. I also got a hot latte, peppermint, mocha. Let's start off with a sandwich. There's like a bunch of blackness in here. I don't know what, is that bacon? I think it's bacon. Here's a sandwich. Let's open her up. You can see we got two fried eggs on that side. On this side we got some bacon and cheese. There's also a couple bacon that's stuck to the egg on that side. That's all it is. Bacon, egg, and cheese on sourdough. Sourdough it has an artisanal look to it. See the the dust, the the extra uncooked flour that goes on the outside to make it look special. It does have a, a sourdough smell to it as well. Let's go ahead and take a bite. I have to expose my eyebrows because that's like half the expression of my face. Anyway, I just noticed, see this marking right here? That's the toast marking to tell you that they actually put it through a toaster. Otherwise, you wouldn't know the sandwich was toasted because it's really floppy. They say it's supposed to be toasted, but like they toasted it right here and really nowhere else. I don't think I bought any bacon yet. Okay. The sourdough is super chewy. 
it's just like really spongy and soft and chewy and gooey. Now, if you're if you if you're used to what the sourdough sourness is supposed to taste like, there's some of that in here. But besides looking very artisanal, it tastes very mass manufactured. The bacon is good. It's a little small, but it tastes fine. The white cheddar. Look at that cheese bowl there. White cheddar. It's pretty mild. It's not a sharp cheddar. I like the egg. The egg is kind of creamy, especially the yolk. Is it a game changer sandwich? No. It's a good sandwich though. Yeah, you know, the bacon hiding down there. I had basically none on the other side. Um I think uh when it comes to breakfast sandwiches from Duncan, I actually like their uh their ham as a breakfast item more than anything else. Duncan and Burger King are the only places I know that have ham sandwiches for uh, breakfast, fast food wise anyway. So, usually when I go there, I, I get a sandwich with ham in it just because you don't get it in other places. Um, so, the star of this sandwich, I think, is the egg. The It, it isn't, uh, if I was making an uh, egg sandwich at home, I wouldn't cook my yolks that much. But they're still soft. They're creamy. You don't really need to even chew those. You can just press it with your tongue and it spread a creamy yolk all throughout your mouth. Um, the cheese is mild. It does add something. It doesn't add a lot, but it's not tasteless. The bacon is good. Wish there was e either more bacon or bigger pieces or thicker pieces of bacon. But this sandwich is a solid eight out of 10. It's a good sandwich. Um, the sourdough bread itself, which is really like the selling point to it, it's okay. Uh, you get you get some of that sourdough flavor to it, but um, just a little background of, of the fat hipster here. I've actually been to France, and I've never tasted a sourdough anywhere outside of France that was as good as the one I tasted in France. So I'm kind of ruined when it comes to tasting sourdough because nothing's ever going to be that good. Anyway, here's the peppermint uh, peppermint hot mocha latte. This is a medium size. Again, uh, Poppy Eats is going to be doing the gingerbread one and I believe he's going to be doing it iced. Let's go ahead and taste this one. Okay. One thought came to my mind when I was having this. So you remember, I think it was earlier in the year or early spring or something like that, that um, Dunkin' Donuts came out with the Girl Scout cookie lattes. Remember. One was the Thin Mint Latte. Thin Mint Latte, of course, everyone should know this by now. Thin Mints are Girl Scout cookies that are chocolate, mint, little discs. They're pretty much everyone's favorite. I know some people hate them, but like, overall, they're the best selling, I think, uh, Girl Scout cookies out there. Anyway, this is a peppermint mocha. Peppermint mochas have chocolate and a mint. Thin mints have chocolate and mint. 
I think they're the same thing. I don't think there's any difference in the recipe at all. Uh, I think it's just naming purposes. I think they have a generic chocolate pump and a generic mint pump. And the Girl Scouts were like, we'll pay you to put our logo on things. People want to come and try it. It's mint and chocolate, stuff you guys already have. So in the winter, we're going to do peppermint mocha. It's going to be mint and chocolate. You're just going to call it something different, but it's going to be the same thing. We're going to save a lot of money here, guys. Having said that, it's a chocolate mint latte. It tastes good. What else do you want? You're going to lose a point for dishonesty, Dunkin' Donuts. I know what you're doing there. It's the same thing. It's the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie. Is there a gingerbread Girl Scout cookie? Maybe they're doing the same thing with the gingerbread latte. I don't remember. There's so many Girl Scout cookies, they're probably a ginger cookie. Anyway, I'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10 for the peppermint mocha. I can't remember, that's the minus 1 for the dishonesty, so you can think it, I like it as much as an 8.5 out of 10. But 7.5 out of 10 for the purposes of the video. Anyway, after you're done watching this one, or if you've already watched it, thank you for coming over from the Papa Eats video. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up to this video and his video. Subscribe to both of us if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, I find him a pretty genuine guy when it comes to reviewing. I don't think he's lying to me. I think I'm getting honest reactions to him. I actually really like the uh, the vlog part he does before. It's it's not super long. Um, it, it, it gives you like a little information about what he's doing that day and why he's ch tasting what he's tasting. But uh, watch him. If you like the vlog style, I don't think I'm going to do it all the time. But maybe once or, once in a while I'll do this again. I, I kind of actually enjoyed it, talking to the camera like that. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe. Poppy Eats, Fat Hipster, collab. Bye.